What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Becoming Zion. Of course, I'm Zion, pronouns he, him, his, and all things masculine. And let's get into today's episode. So as you heard by the song of the podcast today, it's going to be um, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood by Nina Simone. And if you haven't like heard that full song, I encourage you to go listen to the whole thing because a lot of the lyrics within it, Um, are really powerful, especially when discussing kind of the topic that we're discussing today, which is literally the misunderstood as a collective. Um, Obviously applying to my perspective as a black trans man, but also to just people in the world who simply live their lives and get, you know, scrutinized and, you know, judged simply based on living. Um, So that is what I'm getting into today. Some of the lyrics that I do want to pull from this song um, to kind of, you know, really reel in kind of the the basis of why I chose this song. Obviously, like this episode is to the misunderstood and it's also to the people who, um, you know, make the misunderstood feel like other. You know what I'm saying? This is to both of y'all. So you could be better and so the misunderstood can feel better. <laughs> but also, um, as far as the lyrics, though. One of the lyrics I do like is, I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. And it's crazy because like when you think about it, if you're moving throughout life with, you know, pure intentions and with an intention, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to worry about, you know, the misunderstanding of how it comes off. Um, And I think a lot of times it's really tough to you know, just exist and be without thinking, okay, how is the world going to perceive me? And, you know, as long as your intentions are good, I feel like it it doesn't matter if you're misunderstood, you know, bars. But literally, though, like, seriously, it shouldn't matter. Because at the end of the day, like, you know, I think that we we treat a lot of good people who do good for the world um, negatively because they live a different experience than us. And that's just for anybody in the world, no matter what you're doing. If you do anything outside of the norm, you're going to be scrutinized and judged because this society was taught to do that, was taught to bully and, you know, push out anybody who's not aligning with the norm and the standards. And all of these standards are set up within a system. Um, And obviously, I can go into a whole in-depth video about that alone. But these systems are put in place to make us feel fear, to, you know, really neglect our you know innate sense of self and knowledge of self is the only way to really fight those barriers Um, but a lot of people would rather you know look on the outside for you know fulfillment and for identification rather than inside themselves so but another lyric i do like is i'm just human don't you know i have faults like anyone and i think that you know i think there that other humans I don't care who you are to the person, you have no right to judge another human being because at the end of the day, we have different experiences. We are spiritual beings wrapped in humanity. And when you go judging other people, like you don't have the space to do it because we all have faults. As humans, we are born flawed. You know what I'm saying? So I think that is, you know, I think that's how it is. I think, you know, obviously a certain religions, oh, you're, you're born in, in the image of, of a God. And it's true, but you know, I believe that we are exactly who we need to be in the moment. But at the end of the day, like, um, the world has no right to tell you like what to do with your life because, you know, who cares who like, you know, combine themselves together to create you. It doesn't matter because you have to walk this earth by yourself until the end of your life. So it's like, from that time when you're born to the to the end of your life why not do everything that your soul desires but yeah that's what i think but anyway just to reiterate this episode is dedicated to the misunderstood to the ones who simply seek joy in their life's experience and face scrutiny and judgment simply for existing so a little context for this episode one moment so this is ion up in the recording studio right now uh pretty much i'm editing the video right now um and i wanted to let y'all know that if you wanted to listen to the full like story time of what i'm about to get into as far as the context be sure to 
uh, subscribe to my Patreon and become a patron, um, not only to support, but also to get exclusive content. Um, within this video, I actually do a very vague uh, nod to the context, but if you want to get the full context and know who I'm talking about and like really get down into like the way I feel uh, around the whole situation, be sure to subscribe to my Patreon. There's a story time over there about the family member that I'm talking about. I let you know which family member it is and I go into depth about like, um, you know, more background about it. So if you are interested in hearing that, be sure to check out uh, my Patreon. It's literally starting at $5.00 month um so yeah support you know what i'm saying and also get that exclusive bz3 content